into A graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what the primary three students will be learning for science in October. So Jody, what are they learning this month? Okay, for this month, the school will be completing on the topic on life cycles in plants. So there are a few key concepts that they have to know for this topic. Okay, number one is both flowering and non-flowering plants have three stage life cycles. And the second concept, number two, flowering plants have seeds in their life cycles while non-flowering plants have spores. And number three, germination is a process of a seed that will grow into a young plant and there are conditions needed for germination which are water, oxygen and warmth. So students may use the acronym uh, WOW, uh, W-O-W, to help them to remember better. And do take note that germination and its required conditions are actually frequently tested in questions. And number four, right, the plant's parts grow in sequence, which is the first part that grows out of the plant is actually the roots, which will be shown as it's, as that it's growing downwards. And as plants require water to survive, that's why they grow roots first. And then next one will be the shoots, which will grow upwards. And some students may actually ask, does the plant require fruit to survive? Uh, and why food, uh, why water is actually more important than food since pl uh, plant also requires food to survive. This is because at this stage, alright, plant actually has seed leaves which co contain stored food to provide the growing seedling with food. So as the plant grows further, it will actually use up this stored food in the seed leaves. So it will cause the seed leaf to actually shrivel and uh, fall off. So when this happens, seed leaf will develop its true leaves already which actually helps it to trap sunlight during photosynthesis and it can make its own food. So the adult plant then will bear flowers. This is only uh, for flowering plants. And then it will turn into fruits and seeds and the cycle will repeat itself again. Okay, so Judy, do you have any common questions to share with us? Yes, common question type for this topic are actually general knowledge recall questions which require them to apply the concepts that they have learned. So for instance, let's look at this question here. Alright, in this question, students must understand the stages of development of a plant and use their scientific concepts on parts of seeds to answer the various questions. So for part A, there's a keyword in the question observe, which means that students must state what can be seen or noticed. And in this case, they will know that the plant will die. And to explain this observation, alright, we need to recall the concept that the part that is being removed is actually the seed leaves. And since seed leaves provide stock food for the plant before truly develop, Okay, without it, the plants will have no food and it will die. So, and you have to remember that lower primary science question, every claim must be backed up with a science concept. So, we, in this case, explain why the plant will die with the science concept of all living things need food to survive. And for part B, the, at the third stage, we notice that true leaves have been formed. So now they are removing the true leaves instead of the seed leaves. So to explain why we state that the plant will die, we need to recall another concept, which is when true leaf forms, it means that stock food from the seed leaf have already been used up, and now the plant has to rely solely on the true leaves to trap sunlight and photosynthesize to make food. So without it, plants cannot photosynthesize and make its own food, and without food, the plant will die. So to further support the answer for, with the science concept, all living things need food to survive for a more wholesome answer. Okay, great. So we have actually prepared a useful concept map that summarizes this topic. Click on the link below to download them. Thank you very Thank much. You. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Center.